The Infographic Show is a popular animated YouTube channel that covers topics in basically every category, from economics and medicine to politics and challenges. Their innovative approach to shed light on various topics in a fun and intriguing way has allowed them to grow the channel to a massive 8.3 million subscribers with over 1800 videos and over 2.2 billion views. At this point, it's just a matter of time until they reach the 10 million subscriber mark. But this begs the question, through all of this, how much money has the infographic show actually made? Well, to estimate their earnings, we have to first take a look at their revenue sources. The main ones that come to mind are YouTube ad revenue, video sponsors, and affiliate links. Starting with YouTube ad revenue, generally, education channels get a solid $10 to $15 CPMs, or basically $10 to $15 per thousand views. But this is generally only for channels with a super defined niche, whether that's dividend stock investing or stimulus checks. For a channel such as the infographic show with a broad audience, their CPM is likely not as high and is probably in the $7 to $10 range. To estimate conservatively, however, we'll assume their overall CPM is $5, which they can easily get, especially considering that many of the videos cross the 10 minute mark, allowing for multiple ad breaks. Last month, they got 155 million views. But this is largely fueled by the pandemic and the influx of people staying at home. So a more accurate figure would be looking at their viewership over the past year. For about a year now, they've been hovering in the 80 to 100 million views per month range. So we'll estimate that they get 90 million views a month, which would mean that they pull in $450,000 a month just in ad revenue. As for video sponsors, however, it actually seems like they've moved away from using video sponsors in their videos. Of course, we've all seen them plug Blue Apron, Skillshare, Dashlane, Audible, and of course, Wix. But after going through all of the videos they posted over the past month, which is a lot as they post two videos every single day, I didn't see any sponsored videos. In fact, the last sponsored video I could find was from February where they had a sponsorship with Monday.com. This is probably just because of the pandemic as advertisers are being more careful. After looking through their earliest videos, it seems like their first sponsored video started about 3 years ago in June of 2017. To find out the frequency in which they have video sponsors, I went through all of the videos they posted in January of 2020, which is the month with the least advertisers to again estimate conservatively. After going through 65 videos, I found that 17 out of the 65 videos they posted had sponsors or a little more than 25%. So subtracting 180 videos for the videos posted over the past 3 months and another 60 for their first videos without sponsors, about 1580 videos lay in the period where they were actively using video sponsors. This means that they have about 400 sponsored videos. A survey conducted by MyWorkFromHomeMoney.com found that the median amount paid per view by sponsors is 8.9 cents. The infographic show, however, makes large brand deals with companies, so it's likely that the sponsors of their videos pay less than this. Plus, their audience isn't as niche, so we'll just say 5 cents per view. Dividing their total views by their total video count, we can see that they average over 1.2 million views per video. But this is really not true, as this is largely fueled by some of their most popular videos, which garner tens of millions of views. In fact, today, most of the videos get 200 to 300,000 views. But I think this can be attributed to running out of video ideas and less unique video ideas as they move forward, as they simply make so many videos. In their heyday about a year ago, each of their videos was getting millions of views. So let's just say their average sponsor video gets about 500,000 views. Even at 5 cents per view, each of these videos would bring in $25,000. With about 17 of these per month, they bring in about $425,000 a month in sponsorships and have brought in about $10 million from their 400 sponsored videos. You can see why many creators love doing sponsored videos. But that's not it from the sponsors. The links in the description are generally affiliate links leading to even more revenue. For instance, 
Wix pays a whopping $100 for every single premium user you were further away. The median click-through rate for YouTube sponsorships is about 4-7%. to Given the broad infographics audience, however, let's give them a below average 3% CTR. Once these guys get to the sponsor's website, the average conversion rate in the US is 2.63%, while the average global conversion rate is 4.31%. So, let's just say the average conversion rate overall is about 3%. This means that sponsors get a sale every 1,111 video views, or approximately every 1,100 views. So, every sponsored video would produce about 450 sales for the company. Now, as for the affiliate commission, Wix pays $100 per sale. Audible offers between $0.50 cents and $10 per sale. Skillshare offers $10 per sale, and other companies like Dashlane we can't tell without actually being an affiliate partner. But the average seems to be between $5 to $10, with some oddballs like Wix at $100. So let's say the average commission is $10. With 450 sales per sponsorship, the infographic show would pull in $4,500 per video from affiliate marketing. With about 17 sponsored videos per month, this would generate another $76,500 a month or about $1.8 million over their entire YouTube channel. Considering all of this, the infographic show pulls in a conservative $950,000 on average per month or $23.18 million over their entire channel. Can you believe that's just conservative? With a $10 CPM, higher sponsorship revenue and higher click-through rates, it's possible that the infographic show has made upwards of $50 million over the past few years, and up to $2 million a month on average. But wait, don't go anywhere just yet, as that's just revenue. They have to pay for the production of all of their videos, as I doubt one guy is just sitting at home pumping out 60 animated videos a month. To calculate their profits, let's just say that they made right in between our conservative and maximum estimates and estimate their monthly revenue to be $1.5 million and their total revenue to be $37.5 million. If they were to take the industrial route and hire a company to make their videos, it would cost them between $1,000 to $5,000 for every minute of their infographic video. But the thing is, their videos aren't making animations from scratch like this company is probably offering. Most of their videos are made from templates, making the job much easier. But even if they were to go with the company, they'd likely be able to get the cheap $1,000 amount due to how much business they're giving them. With an average length of 10 minutes, each of their videos would cost about $10,000, leading to $600,000 a month in production costs. Even then, they'd profit a solid $600,000 a month, but we know that they don't do this. They actually have a team of 40 freelancers who make all of their videos. In fact, you can apply to work for them on their website. It looks to me that they are basically fivering all of their production, but without Fiverr, cutting out the middleman. But despite this, we can look on Fiverr to get a good estimate of how much you're paying for this work. Two of the most popular creators in this niche of animated explainer videos charge $150 per 30 seconds and $120 per 40 seconds translating to about $180 to $300 per minute. Fortunately for the infographic show, however, they have volume, consistency, and a robust catalog of templates on their side. These Fiverr listings also offer voiceovers as well, but I think the infographic show has their own team of voice actors separate from the video editors. However, it is likely that they also give the task of creating thumbnails to the video editors. So, let's say they pay about $200 for each minute of video editing, coming out to $2,000 for a 10 minute video. Aside from this, we also have the task of thinking of video ideas and script writing as well as voice actors. The average person speaks at 125 to 150 words per minute, but an explainer video is likely to talk slower to make it easier to understand. So, at 125 words per minute, the average video would have about 1,250 words. Two Fiverr top sellers are charging $280 and $325 for this. Again, with volume, let's say this costs $250 per video for the infographic show. As for the script itself, there's not many Fiverr sellers offering this, but one is charging about $900 for a script. However, an infographic show scriptwriter would also have to come up with the idea itself and do a fair bit of research. So let's give the average infographic show scriptwriter $1,000 per video. 
The editing, script writing, and voiceovers would come out to $3,250 a video. But there's also other work like actually posting on YouTube, interacting with the audience, and writing descriptions. They would also need people to contact companies and handle sponsorship deals, as well as pay for any subscriptions like Adobe Premiere Pro and their template as well as sound and music resource. Fortunately for them, as all of their employees seemed to be freelancers working remotely, there would be no need to pay for office space, an internet connection, property tax, and computers and all that stuff. So let's just say the average infographic show video costs $4,000 to make. We can now figure out that each month's production cost would be about $250,000, and their overall production cost across their entire channel is likely around $7.3 million. With all of this, we can finally figure out that the infographic show makes about $1.25 million per month and $30 million over their entire YouTube channel in profit. But wait, there is one more thing to look at as well, which is how much is the infographic show actually worth? Well, to estimate this, we have to take a look at their net income or the income after taxes. The infographic show is owned by an American named Andrej Preston and most of their success has come after the Trump tax bill. So his business would be taxed at 21% as I don't think they have many tax deductibles cause all of their business is online. This would mean that the net income of the infographic show would be right at $1 million a month or about $12 million per year. Generally, companies are worth 16.5 times their yearly earnings. But since it seems like the infographic show has already experienced the peak of their growth and again to estimate conservatively, we'll use a PE ratio or price to earnings ratio of 10, meaning that the infographic show is worth about $120 million. So in summary, the infographic show is a 9 figure YouTube business that earns $12 million a year in net income. Did you expect that? Comment that down below. And if you guys thought this video provided a thorough analysis on the infographic show's earnings, then drop a like and consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari and I'll see you guys on the next one.